With hunting season in full effect, let's take a moment to learn the proper way to make your own arrows. These particular arrows can be used with a longbow or a recurve bow. The first step is a spine test. By hanging a two and a half pound weight on the center of the arrow, you can make sure it isn't too stiff or limber. You then have to weigh the arrows. For accuracy, all of your arrows should be within 20 grains of each other, plus or minus 10 grains. The next step is very important to do correctly. You have to taper one end of the shaft to a 5 degree taper for the broadhead. To do this, you place one end of the arrow into a taper tool and twist like a pencil sharpener. Seeing as how the broadhead is usually the most expensive part of the arrow, you don't want it to fall off when you shoot. The next step is also very important. Before you can apply the knock, you have to taper the other end of the shaft at a 15 degree angle. The knock is the forked piece of plastic that holds the arrow to the string of the bow. Next you want to dip your arrow in a tube of paint. This is called the crown dip. The paint can be any color and you can cover as much of the arrow as you want. This step is purely cosmetic. Next you have to seal the arrow. You dip the entire shaft in polyurethane and let it dry for two days. This is to protect the arrow from the environment. Cresting is another step that is strictly cosmetic, but it gives your arrow some character. You want to pick any color paint you want, but generally you'd like to pick something that goes well with your crown paint. First you place the arrow in the cresting machine. When you turn it on, the machine spins the shaft around at a rapid speed. Then you can apply the paint in any pattern you wish. After cresting your arrow, you want to dip the entire arrow in polyurethane one more time to protect the crest. After letting it dry for two days, you are ready for the feathers. When cutting your feathers, you can cut them to your desired length. These feathers are turkey feathers and are being cut to a length of five and a half inches. Next you have to glue the feathers to the shaft. You want to place your feather in the clamp and apply your glue to the quill of the feather. You want to allow 15 to 20 minutes of dry time for each feather but before applying the next. To burn your feathers, you need a special burning tool. The wire on the tool can be bent to your desired feather shape. When you reach the shape you like, turn on the burner, put the arrow in the designated hole, and turn. Your feathers will be perfect. The last step is applying your broadhead. To do so, you want a mixture of two-part epoxy or hot melt. Rub the tip in the epoxy and then put the broadhead on. Be sure to twist while you do it. That ensures a snug fit. There you have it. Your arrows are all done and you're ready to go practice. Have fun, but always remember to be safe.